Okay, the lips. Outside the mouth. The vestibule is the space in between the lips and the teeth on this model. Actually, it's the space between the cheeks and the teeth and the lips. Okay. Palate. Hard palate corresponds to the area beneath the bone. Soft palate, the area posterior to that. Okay. Tongue. Uvula. He's hanging down at the end of the soft palate. Fosses um, is the opening at the back of the mouth into the oral pharynx. Okay, salivary glands. Um, we don't have the head. We couldn't find the head. Have, so we have to skip the salivary glands. Okay. You can Google that. Okay. okay. Come back to that. Okay, teeth. Okay. In the front, you have the incisors. Flat teeth. Okay. On either side, next two are the cuspids. Um, that's me. And then the, the molars on the back. The bicuspids are right. Oh, be the bicuspids, and then one. You have the incisors, then you have the cuspids, the bicuspids, and then the molars in the back. Okay, tooth. The top part of the tooth that you see is the crown. Um, right below where the constriction area is the neck. And then the part that goes down into the jaw or the gums is the root. Okay, uh, the crown's covered with a layer of enamel on the outside. Um, the mess of the tooth, well, this um, tan color is the dentine. On the outside of the dentine, there's a thin layer of, called cementum. Okay. Um, you have the root, inside the root is the pulp, and the pulp is located in the pulp cavity. Okay. The pulp is made up of connective tissue, blood vessels, and nerves. Okay. Uh, the root canal is the continuation of the pulp cavity down as it passes through the root. So it's lower. So the whole thing is the pulp cavity. The lower part is the root canal. Okay. Uh, the esophagus on the model, right, it extends from the um, the oropharynx down to the stomach. Brings us to the stomach. These are the regions of the stomach. Okay, the section next to the um, esophagus is the cardiac region. So this is the cardiac opening and the cardiac region. Okay, if you Everything above there, this curvature, is the fundus, re fundus region. And the main part of the stomach is the body. And then the lower part is the pylorus, where it empties into the duodenum. Okay. The stomach has two curvatures to it. The outer one, the larger one, is called the greater curvature. The inner one is the lesser curvature. Okay. The mesenteries that are connected to the stomach, okay, the one that's connected to the greater curvature lays down over the intestines, and that's called the greater omentum. Attached to the smaller curvature, or the lesser curvature, is another mesentery that connects the stomach to the um, liver, and that's called the lesser omentum. Okay, it's not shown on this model, it's not shown on any of the models. Oh, yeah, that's what I It is one, of, that's the question over there. Yeah, I got it. Okay. The folds inside the stomach are the ruhe. The greater one is the one that gives you belly fat. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, it's your greater one. Okay. Uh, move to the small intestines. Okay. The first section that's attached to the stomach is the duodenum. 
it's the shortest section, about 10 inches long. Um, the next section, which is the upper part of this model, is the jejunum. And then the lower section is the ileum. So then this back this would be the jejunum, and this region would be the ileum. Okay, the ileum is going to connect to the large intestine or the colon. Uh, the mesenteries. Again, we don't have a model here to show some mesenteries. Mesentery model? Mm -hmm. Model. Mm -hmm. Mesentery model. Uh, I think I think it's over there. Okay, this is the mesenteries. Oh. oh, good thing that we. <laughs> okay, the mesenteries are located between the intestines, hold them in place. Okay, and this is the greater omentum. Okay, move to the large intestine now. Okay, um, these pockets or invaginations are called hostra. Okay, there is an external muscle running along the outer surface. Okay, this is a, mas um, um, a modification of the muscularis externa of the other regions. It has the, the brant bands that wrap around, circular and longitudinal. In the large intestine, it's become modified to form these two bands on the outside, the tende colonae. Okay, uh, the circular constrictions in between are the circular bands, and here they're called plica semilunaris. Okay, the valve between the large intestine. Uh, between the ileum and the large intestine. It's called the ileocecal valve. Okay, it's right here. Okay, the pouch hanging off the bottom of the large intestine is the cecum. Off of the cecum is the appendix veriform, veriform appendix. Okay. The whole large intestine is called the colon. Okay, so it has an ascending transverse and descending colon, and the descending colon becomes the sigmoid colon. The descending becomes the sigmoid colon, okay, which will then um, become the rectum, and then finally the anal canalis of the body. So the rectum and then anal canal, right? Pancreas. Okay, the head of the pancreas is where it's attached to the duodenum. The neck is the region right next to the head. Then you have the body, and then you have the tail where it attaches to the spleen. Okay, you have the pancreatic duct that runs the length of the pancreas, and it enters the duodenum at the duodenal papilla. The opening there. Okay, the pancreatic duct fuses with the common bile duct coming down from the liver before it enters the duodenum. Okay, the liver next. Right lobe is a large one, small left lobe. Okay. We have the larger one. Um, Should we use the larger one, Professor? Yeah, okay. Oh, let's use the larger one. Okay. But now, okay. So we're looking at it this way and large right lobe, left lobe. No, it's actually it's easier to see on the, to see the lobes. Caudate is up on the top next to the um, so this is the inferior vena cava passing through it. So the caudate is next to that, and then you have the quadrate, which is next to the gallbladder. Mm -hmm.
the ligament on the anterior surface of the liver is the falciform ligament, and on the posterior surface is the round ligament. The hillis is this region where the, um, the arteries and veins and the gallbladder are entering. Okay, uh, gallbladder. Okay, the ducts. Okay, you have the ducts that are entering the, the liver are the hepatic ducts. Okay, they come out and form the, the common bile duct, which is going to go down again, go to the pancreas. And off of the common bile duct, going to the gallbladder, is the cystic duct. Okay, that's it, right?